Hi there, everyone. All right, we are gonna go for a ride. My favorite thing to do is take a drive in this immaculate 1978 Ford Bronco Ranger XLT. And man, this is a stunner. It's a truly rare truck. When I say a one of a kind, it's a one of a kind. Uh, early production number Bronco. It was delivered in late 77, so one of the first made. And it was only one of 11 in this color combination. Only 11 were made in this black tan uh, color combo. So uh, it's probably the only one still around in existence. It's highly original. Uh, we did a Coyote Swap uh, engine in it. And uh, man, that Coyote Swap, that six speed, get ready. We we're gonna have a blast driving this. But uh, truly, a rare truck, um, incredibly nice. Came out of Seattle, Washington, delivered their new. Second owner bought it in 1991. And uh, I'm the third owner. And man, this is, you just don't find them like this. And uh, when you pull the Marty report, it's uh, literally a one of one when you look at all the options it had. There was in, in this super rare color combination, there isn't another one out there that uh, was is loaded out with this in this very, very rare black and tan. So let's go for a ride. I'm excited to show you guys. Uh, this is my first uh, Bronco with a uh, Coyote swap. Um, I've seen a lot and I uh, wanted to find the right Bronco to do it to. And this was the perfect one. Very original and uh, just a beautiful, beautiful truck. I've done a lot of uh, LS swaps and Suburbans and then Blazers and, um, you know, the Coyotes. They're a lot more expensive to do than an LS. And uh, I found the perfect donor engine out of a 2016 F-150 that had been sideswiped. Uh, the engine only had uh, barely over 60,000 miles on it. And um, yeah, it was just the perfect, perfect candidate. This, this Bronco and uh, that engine, it was just a perfect marriage. And uh, my shop has done a lot of these swaps. Uh, they said this was their favorite uh, Bronco to do it to. They were just giddy. And um, yeah, they're the masters of it. They're the best in Georgia. They kill it with LS swaps, with Coyote swaps, um, you name it. They do it. Uh, so yeah, we did it right. No expense spared. And my goal was to keep everything very uh, stock looking. Look at that. So all I did was back it out of my uh, garage. So this is essentially a cold start and a cold run. You're going to see the engine is not warm. It will warm up. And it is full of gas, so uh, the fuel gauge works, uh, everything works. This is from Dakota Digital. We went with the most stock looking one we could get. And uh, I put, I had them program it for 74,000 uh, plus miles because that's what this Bronco had. This was a uh, 70,000 mile truck when I got it, uh, truly. And the interior shows, you can obviously see how, I mean, it's just spectacular. So yeah, instead of zeroing it out on the odometer, I had them put it back to what it was when I uh, bought it. But yeah, everything works. I decided not to change out the original radio. I think that'd be a sin. I don't have any stations up here in the Blue Ridge Mountains, but the radio does work. That's the original push button AM FM, you know, extra cost. Um, AC works, the AC blows nice and cold. Look at that. Rear window works. So yeah, there you have it. Everything, everything is operable. Oh, even the, I mean, these never work. This is like insane right there. So yeah, the uh, lights work great. Even the horn, all the signals. Had them reprogrammed onto the Dakota Digital. And uh, what's so cool about this Dakota Digital is that it's a retrofit system. So it looks very clean, very stock. You would hardly know it wasn't. 
but um, it's literally all digital, the way it talks to everything uh, down to uh, the pedal. No more by wire, everything is digital. And man, this engine is just sick, sick, sick. You can see the temperature starting to come up just slightly. Oil pressure has uh, settled a bit. It's perfect. And now watch this. This is so cool of how uh, Dakota does this. So reverse, neutral, drive. I love it. So it's all there digitally for you. I've had probably 10, maybe, I'd have to recount again, 10 or 11, maybe even 12 of these second gen Broncos over my lifetime. Um, obviously they're getting way harder to find in good condition. They're getting extremely expensive. These, these are going to outpace first gen Broncos. They obviously only made it two years, this second gen. Um, it's the full size Bronco, the first of the full size Broncos, two years only made, just iconic styling. Uh, no offense to the third gen, the, the bull nose, but, uh, yeah, it's not, doesn't, doesn't hold a candle to this one. Um, so yeah, to me, this was the best of the best of Broncos and, uh, they're, they're definitely catching up in, you know, demand and popularity and value. This is the Bronco to have. And, uh, these are going to be the ones that are the most sought after and, and it's happening. So yeah, this is by far my favorite second gen Bronco I've ever had. This is my favorite vehicle to drive. I mean, it's, it's a modern day feel. We've got the new steering box, uh, six speed transmission, exhaust, shocks, um, springs, everything is, is new pretty much. And it's just a really great tight driving experience. It shifts smoothly. It's way better on fuel. Uh, the torque, the power, obviously the horsepower, it's insane. I'm going to start it on a curvy mountain road here in the beautiful North Georgia Blue Ridge mountains. Let the engine warm up just slightly and then I'm going to get her on the highway, get her up to high speed for you. But uh, first let's take this curvy mountain road. Uh, the new BFGs and the new Mickey Thompson wheels, uh, perfect combo, all new brake system. So, you know, hard braking on this downhill turn, car coming, got to stay in my lane. Look at this. I'm doing it one handed while filming and it's just perfect. It holds the road uh, with these awesome tires and the nice wheels. Really, really connected to the ground. Feels glued to the road. Really takes away a lot of that uh, top heavy feel that you would normally get in a, you know, short, uh, you know, tall SUV like this Bronco. But yeah, not this one. It really, really feels connected. It feels glued. It feels stable. And uh, you don't get that top heavy bouncy feel. And with the new steering, I mean, usually your wheel is like squirrely and all over the road and these, you know, older uh, Broncos, especially second gen Broncos, they're just notorious for having sloppy steering. Um, but yeah, we've gotten rid of that and uh, think I would get used to how awesome and badass that exhaust sounds but you just don't get used to it it's like your first time every time if that makes sense it's truly mind-boggling how badass it sounds it's just like oh uh. and when you take friends for a ride who've never been in something like this like much less a second gen Bronco but one that's got a coyote swap in it and then you know just like the perfect exhaust note people are like their eyes kind of bug out a bit and they're like, Oh crap. Whoa. That's, that's something I'm like, yep. But what's great is like right now, you know, it's, it's loud when you want it to be loud, 
but when you are cruising and not going hard in it, it's so just chill, quiet, chill. You can have a conversation. You could get on your, you know, phone and, you know, talk. It's, it's really the best of both. All right, let's look at what we're doing. Temperature going just above 180 there. My oil pressure is perfect right there in the middle. We're looking good. I mean, we're, we're perfect. Sorry, I'd go a little faster, um, but I got a slow poke on our hands here. Big bump in the road, but the new shocks, the new springs, it's not a factor in this. And again, the rarity of the second gen Bronco, if you're not familiar. Okay, I think this is my time to pass. this thing with one finger if I wanted to look at that one finger I'm going almost 60 on a two-lane back road in the mountains look at that 60 miles an hour ain't no thing <laughs> I'm having too much fun if you can't tell look at this big curve again with the BFG KO2s, this Bronco ain't going nowhere. She handles mountain roads, straight roads, highways, byways, whatever you want. The BFG KO2 on these perfect tire. It is, and you don't get that awful, like, you know, mud grabber tire sound. I hate that wah, 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 wah that the mud grabbers do. It's just so annoying. Um, Sorry to those of you who like those, but <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we're almost done with this curvy road. I'm gonna get her out on the highway. Uh, hopefully I have an opportunity to get her up to like 70 plus miles an hour. I've had this truck a little over 80 and uh, it wants to do more than that, but I'm just not comfortable in a, you know, uh, 40 something year old box going that fast. So 80 is about as fast as I'll, I'll go. The power, I love the power. The exhaust, it's just, it's heaven. And just the cool factor, I mean, 70s awesomeness right here. It's like badass, it's, it's just incredible. I can't even put into words every time I drive this. Here we go. puts a smile on your face. This is just such an awesome truck. I've never driven anything so fun, so cool. It's just, it's the one. The second gen Bronco is the coolest SUV known to man. And this is the best of the second gens right here. Extremely rare color combination. Only 11 made in this color combination. This is probably the last one. We kept it original, we kept it retro, we just made it bad ass. All right, I've gone on long enough. I'm having way too much fun. Let me just show you again. Temps are staying nice and cool. Oil pressure's great. 
this engine's not even broken in, so yeah. This is a bad dog right here. Favorite truck I've ever owned. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna keep on having a blast in these North Georgia mountains. Greetings from Blue Ridge. I'll see you guys later.